let's just get this out of the way right off the bat. 1982 was a weird year in the NFL. Maybe the strangest season ever. The league saw its first ever in-season player strike, a nine-game schedule, and a 16-team playoff field. And oh yeah, a kicker won MVP. 26-yard attempt. Snap, hold is good. Kick is up, long enough, it's good. Mark Mosley's toe has sent it to overtime, and Mark Mosley's toe has won it in overtime. That was week one. 12-year vet Mark Mosley had just kicked the Redskins to 1-0 in a 37-34 thriller at Veterans Stadium. Hang on, let's rewind a sec. A little backstory on the most random league MVP of all time. At 34 years old, Mosley was tied for the oldest player on the 82 Redskins. He was drafted by the Eagles in 1970, then spent a couple of years in Houston before landing in the nation's capital. In his first 11 seasons in the NFL, Mosley made one Pro Bowl and converted just 62% of his field goals. 62%. So what the heck happened in 1982? Mosley was perfect last week against the Philadelphia Eagles, including the game winner. This one is long enough, and it is good. This will be a chip shot, but again, the field is wet. It is good. So the field goal by Mosley makes it a 12 to six Washington lead. Mosley started the year on fire, nailing all six of his field goals. Then just like that, everything was put on hold. All NFL training facilities will be struck. We are prepared to withhold our services however long it takes. So we've lost half the season now with the cancellation of next week's games. We're very close to losing the 1982 season. Fast forward 63 days. When the lights on the 82 season were turned back on, Mosley picked up right where he left off, hitting a clutch field goal against the Giants to seal a 27 to 17 Washington victory. Three weeks later, the red hot kicker not only stayed perfect, but accounted for all of the Redskins scoring in a 12 to seven slugfest with the Cardinals. Yeah, Mosley was in the zone. But when you're talking about this Washington team, you have to mention the league's number one scoring defense. Play action, fakes the doorstep. In the ball, well, set up a screen, batted in the air, picked off by Darrell Graham. Touchdown, Washington Redskins! The defense was an important factor in Mosley's MVP season because they kept providing scoring opportunities. But the offense stalled so often in the red zone that Mosley was consistently leaned on to provide points. But it wasn't just that. The guy was also clutch. Take the Week 15 matchup against the Giants when the Redskins found themselves at 5-1 and, and looking to clinch their first playoff berth since 1976. New York took a 14-3 lead into halftime before the Skins came roaring back. Now the crowd's coming alive here. Go Washington can throw the ball. And he can run with it. He gets a block, a beautiful block. Game on, 14 to nine, and Mosley's extra point would make it 14 to 10. Washington was able to go in for the touchdown, and they missed the extra point. Mosley, who has made that string of 19 field goals in a row, misses the extra point. That was Mosley's third missed extra point of the year. Incredibly, he actually missed more extra points than field goals in 1982. But despite the gap, Washington was still in the game, mounting another drive. It was 14 to 12 Giants, late in the fourth quarter, in time running out. And the Redskins would need their kicker again. So what a dramatic effort this will be. Nine seconds left. Mosley takes a deep breath. It will be a 42-yard try. And they need a good snap. It's good, and the kick is... Mosley had his MVP moment. On one kick, he simultaneously sent the Redskins to the playoffs and broke Garrow Upremian's record of 20 consecutive made field goals. 
and in a game where Joe Theismann threw four picks and John Riggins couldn't even muster three yards per carry, it was Mosley who came through for the best team in the league. A week later, he hit two more field goals against the Saints, and oh, by the way, some rookie kicker named Morton Anderson. But it wasn't until Washington's final game of the season when Mosley's streak was snapped. 23 in a row. The penalty was from the spot of the foul. Here, the 40-yard field goal drive. And he missed it. He missed it. He was 20 out of 20 this year. They still give him a big, big ovation as he finally missed. Make that 20 of 21 on the year, including five of six from 40 yards or more for an eight and one Redskins team that tied for the best record in the NFL. A hell of a season for a kicker. But did it warrant the MVP award? That's debatable, highly debatable. It was a nine game season. Who knows what Mosley's body of work would have looked like had this been a normal year. And what about the other candidates in 82? I mean, rookie Marcus Allen led the 8-1 Raiders with close to 1,100 yards from scrimmage and 14 touchdowns. Cowboys corner Everson Walls had seven interceptions in nine games. And the Chargers Dan Fouts and Wes Chandler were on pace for astronomical numbers had it been a full 16-game slate. Either way, it's a good thing they award the MVP based on the regular season. Ball held by Theismann. He got it up high. Threw it. No good. No good. From 27 yards out, Mark Mosley with Theismann holding. And Mosley gets it high. And no good. Hit the upright. Mosley pulled it to the left. He's been in a little bit of a slump in the playoffs. Mosley went two of six in Washington's first three playoff games. But in Super Bowl 17, he was perfect as were the Hogs and John Riggins, who powered their way to the Lombardi Trophy. There's the snap, hand to Riggins, good hole! He's got the first down to the 40, he's gone! The 35, the 30, the 20, he's gone! He's gone! Touchdown, Washington Redskins! Woo Since 1982, no kicker has even come close to sniffing the MVP. Not Morton Anderson, not Adam Vinatieri, nobody. Not even Mike Vanderjack, who made 37 of 37 field goals in 2003, but was an afterthought to Peyton Manning's MVP campaign. And Mosley himself set a kicker scoring record in 1983. He didn't come close. We've seen dark horse winners like Alan Page in 1971, or Brian Sipe in 1980, Lawrence Taylor in 1986, and Kurt Warner in 1999. But for a kicker, to actually do enough for his team and overshadow every other star in the league is truly remarkable. 1982 was a strange year.